First at 5 o'clock, Sepulpa police say an argument turned deadly when a man stabbed his son and nephew over the weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. Investigators say the suspect is in jail and his 15-year-old nephew is dead. News on 6 is Cal Day is live in Sepulpa with new details from investigators. Cal? Well, Tatum and Craig, police say that the suspect and the victims all live together in the same house. Right now, investigators are trying to piece together exactly how an argument escalated to this point. Sepulpa police say 57-year-old Richard King is in jail, facing charges of first-degree murder and assault with a deadly weapon. Investigators say King argued with his 16-year-old son and 15-year-old nephew in this house on Saturday afternoon. Police say another adult and two more juveniles were inside and witnessed the argument turned violent. At some point, the suspect went to the kitchen to get a knife. Uh, the argument turned physical. And then that is when these uh, juveniles were stabbed. Captain Mike Soule with Sepulpa Police says the 16-year-old was stabbed once in the arm. He says the 15-year-old who died was stabbed in the chest or back. Both of the victims were taken to a hospital. Meanwhile, officers spotted King walking away from the house and arrested him. He had blood on his clothing. They placed him in the custody at that time. Records show King spent time in prison for assault with a dangerous weapon and child endangerment. Investigators say they found the knife at the scene. Sol says this type of crime is unusual for Sepulpa. Sepulpa, we don't see that many homicides um, in a course of a year. This only makes our first homicide uh, this year. Sepulpa School says both victims involved are students in the district. The district made counselors available to other students today, and it says they met with different groups that both victims were involved in. Police have not released the name of the victim who died. They say it's because he's a juvenile. Live in Sepulpa, Cal Day, Oklahoma's own News on 6.